With only nine days' notice, Kamaru Usman, the former welterweight champion, agreed to take on Kamzat Chimaev. The MMA community has been shaken by this unexpected showdown, which has set the stage for one of the most anticipated battles in recent years. Kamaru, who enters this bout as the biggest underdog in his storied career, remains undeterred by the odds stacked against him. Addressing his critics, here is what he said. People have amnesia. And when I say amnesia, oh, he lost two in a row. I didn't even think of it that way. Think about the one before that. What was happening before a minute left? Was it 48 seconds left or 24 minutes? That fight wasn't even a close fight. But people have amnesia. And people forget about that. And then in the last fight, that was my worst version of me showing up right there. We saw what that was. And we saw what that fight looked like. So for people that even think that or say that, I mean, it is what it is. They must have forgotten. So I can't speak for them, and I don't care. Speaking about Kamzat Chimaev, Usman expressed a mix of admiration and recognition for the potential of the rising star. He's definitely talented. That's why there's a lot of excitement about him because, as you know, we see these guys come in and do a lot of different things, and you just see something special about him, and we all know it. I know it, he knows it, everyone knows it, so yeah, he's very skilled, he's strong, he's big, and he's fast. He can wrestle. He can grapple. Strike. He has everything. But so do I, and at the end of the day, we are all human beings. And so everybody feels invincible until someone comes in and pokes that balloon. Fans from all around the world are preparing for what is sure to be a historic fight as the days lead up to this incredible encounter. Whether Usman will overcome the odds and win, or whether Chimiev will continue his meteoric rise. Adesanya spoke openly about his future in the sport after his setback. He declared that he will take a significant a break from combat to focus on himself. While retirement was not in his immediate plans, Adesanya made it clear that he was aware of the potential. He highlighted that he has nothing left to prove but understood that in order to perform at the level he wanted, he would need to make some lifestyle changes. Here is what he said. Now I'm going to take time to look after myself. I'm not going to fight for a long time. I'm definitely not going to retire, because that's not me. But if I did I'm fine. I don't need to prove anything else. But I know what I can do, and I know what I can change in my lifestyle to make my body adapt to where I need to be. I'm going to heal myself up, you won't see me fight for a long time. McGregor showed his support for Adesanya on social media, asserting that Adesanya can beat Strickland easy in rematch. Big glove boxing sparring rounds in an enclosed ring, and you are doing Sean Strickland in with a hand behind your back lad. Rest up. And then come back and get that belt back. Adesanya's future in the sport is still up in the air, but it is clear that he is committed to taking care of himself and improving himself. UFC President Dana White has declared his plan to permanently memorialize lightweight champion Islam Makhachev's inspiring words inside the hallowed walls of the UFC Apex and Performance Institute. Makachev's now iconic quote. What does this title represent? It means you're the best in the world and if you're the best in the world it doesn't matter who is standing across from you. What do I say? No. Never. Let's do this. These words, spoken in the heat of the moment when Charles Oliveira withdrew from their scheduled bout, capture the spirit of a real fighter in all its glory. During a recent interview, Dana White, impressed by Makachev's words, voiced his respect. Here is what he said. I keep talking about Islam's quote that he gave, and you know when an opportunity presents itself if you're a real guy and you're in this for all the right reasons, you step up and you take these fights. It's just that, I swear to God. I got to find out if it's not up yet, but I called the team yesterday. I said that I wanted Islam's quote in the apex, and I wanted it in the PI, it's going up on the wall. That's how much I love this. Makachev's quote will now serve as a beacon of motivation for fighters who train and compete within the UFC's state-of-the-art facilities. 
Bo Nickel stated that he was upset when the UFC declined to contact him regarding a last-minute matchup with Kamzat Chimaev. In a recent statement, Nickel, who has gained inters in the MMA world with his superior wrestling, disclosed the lack of contact from UFC's side. Here is what he said. I was a little disappointed they didn't ask me. They didn't ask me to step in there. I was expecting at least an ask like, hey, do you want to do this? But no, just nothing. Nothing from the UFC, so is what it is. I'm guessing that they didn't want me to roll over into Abu Dhabi on like 10 days notice and smash their boy in front of his home crowd or something. That's a fight that needs to have a proper build-up and whatnot, so I get that. It was just interesting to me because I probably got today, I don't even know how many, comments and DMs and this and that, saying fight comes at. Thanks for watching. If you're a fan of MMA be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you never miss an update. Also leave a comment below with your thoughts on today's news. Keep supporting the sport, and we'll see you in the next one.